Hey, what's up, guys? Um, right, so, um, as I usually don't do this, I decided to at least give a reasonable explanation of a bug that exists for a while, um, for quite some time already. Um, it did exist previously, then it wasn't working anymore. I don't know, it's back. Um, someone messaged me on Discord, uh, saying, hey, in your last video, um, you said it doesn't work, the skills don't stick, um, but, you know, my friend, he got the skill to max by, by doing it. I briefly watched the video, and... I thought, like, you know, at least I'll give an explanation to why it works and how it actually works. So what you see me doing here is basically buying a lot of drink and a lot of food, food that um, decreases my, my energy level to, you know, zero or 26 if I just take a condensed milk. Um, and then I just drink water to, f uh, sorry, not the energy, the, the water level. And then I just drink water, Aquamori in this case, to replenish the water level, the hydration level. Um, and that usually would give you skill points in metabolism, because every time you replenish uh, either energy or hydration, you do get skill points in metabolism, as you guys already know. Um, now what's going to happen here is usually when you consume something in offline mode uh, and you go into a raid you know then the server is like yo uh that's not the state um that's right and i'm gonna put you back to where you came from skill wise and that's totally fine and that's um really how it's supposed to work um now there's a, a little bug um and it sort of works not in the same way, but similar to how um, people were able to exploit uh, strength and endurance because the exhaustion phase would not stack, right? So you could just run, 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 and you would make 90, 100, 120 skill points per raid, essentially. Um, now, in this case, what happens is uh, when you consume the... Um, the, the water to replenish your hydration levels. Um, it does give you skill points. And it basically, if, if you look, you take the first one, it gives you a significant amount of skill points, three point something. And then the next one gives you one point something. And then the next one gives you 0. 0.7. And the next one, uh, 0. 0.5. Uh, and then at some point it goes down uh, until you just don't get anything. And that is because of the um, exhaustion system uh, and how it works and I'm going to release a separate video on that now um, what happens in reality is your um, your client presents that to you as I just explained but he doesn't show you that you're actually stacking the three point something skill points every time you consume it over and over and over again now, if you just went into the raid, you would lose that all, but um, you don't lose it if you pass a certain threshold. Let's say you level up in a skill, you keep it. Um, there's also another threshold that you can um, pass so you keep your skill points, and that is to reset your exhaustion phase. And your exhaustion phase, as you know, when you get the red arrow that points down that says, hey, you're exhausted, um, and, and you don't get that in offline in, in your inventory. You get it if you go into an offline raid, you see the um, the exhaustion um, uh, red arrow. Um, but um, it would show your exhaustion rate, uh, phase um, with the red arrow, and when you wait five minutes, um, you know, it, it, the red arrow disappears and you're back to a normal phase. Um, again, uh, I've made already made a separate video just for the exhaustion system, explaining it all in detail, uh, hopefully um, getting rid of all the questions uh, once and for all. Now, um, 
So if you wait those five minutes, obviously in your in your stash, nothing happens, right? There's nothing happening. Uh, it's not going to reset anything because, hey, you're in offline mode. Now you go into a live raid. Uh, and what's what's happening now is because you have a token save that says like, hey, your skill is, you know, your exhaustion phase is replenished, and now we're going into a new raid, and you get the boost phase on top, and there's a mix-up, uh, and you get the full skill points for every time you consume something. Uh, and essentially, what you can do if you have enough money uh, to buy Aquamari or whatever water, to, to replenish your hydration and enough mayonnaise or condensed milk, uh, you can get your skill to max in. If I was assuming how long it takes, if you have unlimited money, it's probably less than half a day. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how it works. Um, let's see how I'm doing this. Um, going into a raid and yeah, it, if you have any any more questions, I mean, you can play the video in slow mode. Um, just let me know in the comments. Um, essentially, just make sure that you don't overspend uh, on this shit. Don't spend all your money. If you have nothing left, that sucks. Uh, otherwise, yeah. I expect... Well, I'm not the biggest YouTuber, so I don't expect the... The prices on the flea market is skyrocket, really. And as you can see, uh, and I just recorded it again because I lost all my recordings um, from this week. Um, the prices are still low. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, you can grab Aquamari fairly cheap. You can grab a mayonnaise soup cheap uh, and condensed milk. Absolutely, um, absolutely fine. Uh, the prices are reasonable. Um, so, yeah, have fun leveling metabolism, uh, basically, unfortunately, breaking it completely. Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, um, I, I will re release the skill system video tomorrow. Uh, and then I hope I can uh, catch up with all the other videos I still have in preparation. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Much love. And I'm sorry. Bye bye, guys. That's a hundred skill points. That's a hundred skill points. Just like that. Can't take it anymore. Bye.